the first yeah. point you do something to make yourself happy the second yeah. point sometimes you do something to make others happy so if you so, if you you defined it perfectly with the example of relatives that you like to gain knowledge in every aspect it was wonderful talking to you uh, you, you have so a much. Good, yeah you have a good hold over the language uh, the fluency goes well i can hear you good afternoon how are you good afternoon I'm good. Thank you. What okay, about nice. you? I'm doing well. My name is Swati. Uh, shall we begin with the session's topic? Before that, is there any doubt? Okay. Nice to meet you, Swati. Actually, I've Thank got you. a topic. So, well, I want to know you more. Uh, sure. sure. Actually, I thought uh, you joined uh, a couple of minutes late. So I thought let's just directly dive into the topic. We can have the introductions for sure. Uh, I am a content writer and an author, uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, I'm here on Clapping Go as a freelancer. Uh, please uh, tell me something about you. Got you. So when did you join this platform as a freelancer? Yeah, I joined it last year, first Feb. So nearly. a more than a year now yes okay uh, tell me something about you what do you do okay so my name is anush and i'm from darbhanga bihar okay and at this time i have a youtube channel actually i run a youtube channel where i make videos about english vocabularies and conversation and it's one of the reasons that i'm using this platform because after having conversation about a particular topic i just upload this video on my channel so that so that uh, my viewers can watch this and they can learn from this video so this is something what i've been doing these days by the way where are you from i am from madhya pradesh and you are from ah, okay. Hey, you're from an MP. I'm from Bihar. Okay, okay, that's wonderful. Oh uh, yeah, now Very shall good. we begin with the session's topic? Why Any not? Doubt? Why not? Actually, I've got my own topic. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure. So I'd like to tell you the topic. Well, it's just a common topic. Mm-hmm. It's a common, so that uh, it will be easy. and good yeah. for my viewers to connect Gosh. with this topic so i want to ask you that how do you like to how spend your time when you have a day off okay uh this this is actually a wonderful question i try to spend my time in various ways i, I usually right. consume mm-hmm. uh it could be either through reading or watching like recently i finished a book uh, regretting you by colleen hoover uh, that was oh, my nice. second book by this author now i'll try mm-hmm. to start the third one so i guess reading and watching i watch a lot of gray's anatomy so these are my past time how do you spend your time okay very nice thank you for saying and thank you for sharing your experience well uh, i like to when i have a day off i just like to read books the same mm-hmm. and uh, i like to read articles in the newspapers especially in the in hindi language because mm-hmm. uh, i like to read it different articles from diff- different writers from different mm-hmm. editors and uh, on different kind of topics because i'm interested in different topics so i just like to read about bollywood about politics about religions and about yeah. the sports so and many more things so i like to do something yeah. like this and uh, apart from it when i have a day off i just try to spend my time in a sport because it's very important to be healthy you need to do something sporty exactly absolutely yeah. Uh, and you mentioned reading books. Uh, what kind of books do you read? 
actually uh, it's not a particular book but uh, for example i can say i like to read biographies okay autobiographies i like to read uh, books related to geography some scientific books okay and uh, so generally uh, i like to read biography Okay. For example, so I I can show you. Give me a second, please. So recently, I've got a book. Okay, and uh, the name of this book is if I translate it into English, this is the book. Okay. okay. Popular Pop- Women of India. Popular Women That's of India. Yes. So uh, now I'll. I'll begin with this book and uh, I want to experience how many women popular women and what kind of qualities with them okay. so uh, mm-hmm. actually it is also one of my hobbies mm-hmm. reading a book it's also one of my hobbies and uh, in the first session of this clapping go uh, mm-hmm. I I discussed with a teacher what's the importance of reading a book. Mm, absolutely. Uh, like I feel like I see it more as the discovery and exploration of the world. Like whenever yeah. I am reading my intentions change completely. You know one um, thing uh any anyone uh I actually I'm talking about the person who is none was popular in nowadays they have a common hobby mm-hmm. which is reading a book okay okay uh, that yes. would differ on the kind of books they read i'm assuming they would read more spiritual and non fiction books yes i'm not talking about which kind of book they read i'm talking about the habit which is common in them which is reading a book what does it mean it means you can get a lot from a book then you expect or then you imagine because after reading a book or after completion of reading a book you have a different kind of imagination you have many more ex- expect okay i uh, know sorry i actually expect i, I want to say expect you have more expect you have different outlook on various things and uh, you can express yourself in many ways on different topics you have different mm-hmm. outlook you have positive outlook which is very crucial exactly and very that's positive. the thing. yeah please complete yes i said that it's very important to be positive in anything uh, yes. and i feel that's the thing about literature or any piece of work that yeah. it could so many different things to different people you and i can read the same book but what it means to you might not mean to me what i understand from exactly. it you might not understand so like that one piece of content can give you a thousand things that's that's the best part about reading what i see yes. it and sometimes you can feel that what you have read uh mm-hmm. somewhere it connects with your life sometimes you can feel doesn't mean doesn't mean that it can happen any time but sometimes you can feel or maybe you didn't feel it before maybe you will feel it later but a uh, book gives you a uh, experience okay absolutely absolutely whatever yeah. book you read it gives you the same experience which have been kept into it okay mm-hmm. now it just depends on you you want to use it or not but at least you have experience of that kind of field that that may help you in future when you will face it or you want to face it. true uh, from our conversation till now what i can infer is that you like to gain knowledge in every aspect you want to <laughs> learn about everything uh, thank so, you so much swati yes okay, then. and oh, yeah. it's for the first time i'm talking to you here on this platform cuz uh, it's my fifth session only fifth yeah, yes i 
Uh, okay then. Do you have any other topic to cover, or shall we practice any extempore? Why not? Why not? Okay. Oh yes. So, uh, have you heard of this term, peer pressure? Uh, let me check it out, please. Peer pressure. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Peer Which pressure. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So uh, a simple Kelly. thing, peer would mean what people. What is peer pressure? Yeah, peer is uh, someone who is in our age group. Uh, people like probably our classmates, our colleagues, our co-workers. Okay. Those are all peer. And if they do something, now you also feel pressured to do it. That is peer pressure. Example: uh, okay. If all of us are going to parties every Saturday. but you don't like to party you like to stay in and read books so since everyone is going you're feeling okay maybe i should also go maybe i should also try that it means okay. that is okay. no pressure uh, did you understand the concept understood in short you can say that uh, suppose you have uh, you are with your relative there may be anyone mm-hmm. and if they do something in this way or in this situation you also have to do it so it's kind of mental pressure on you exactly exactly which which oh, is so i just want to know, yeah exactly you you defined it perfectly with the example of relatives uh, so i just want to know do you think peer pressure will always be negative or can it have a positive influence as well well What it do you de- think? for me uh, it depends on the person right because if i take myself as example in the situation i'll think before doing okay i'll i'll think that uh, should i do that or not what my relative or what my friend is doing right away it does it have a negative uh, symbol negative uh, how to say effect on me yeah. or it will be positive for me so i'll do according to that okay because it's kind of to copy others okay yeah. in short if you say it's like uh, you don't want to do but you have to do it's kind of mental pressure right yes, and you are not thinking about what will be the influence of it on you so for me i would think about the situation about the work they are doing and then i'll decide myself should i do it or not now it's your mm-hmm. turn what would you do in this situation uh, like i do understand your point of view you're saying that whatever a decision choices affect your life you should be the one making it no one else should yes. affect it exactly in short yeah exactly uh, i see peer pressure as something Uh, which can be utilized well if uh, looked at from a positive perspective like sometimes uh, maybe you're not interested in reading a very popular book but all your friends are reading it uh, it happens right you you activate your contrary inside and you're like everyone is reading it i won't read it but sometimes they have liked it so much you'll feel like okay maybe i should read it So it forces you into reading a good book, watching a good so series. It's, it's the second point here. Well, the first yeah. point, you do something to make yourself happy. The second yeah. point, sometimes you do something to make others happy. So if you <laughs> copy, if you, you copy them, it means you are not doing for yourself. You are doing for them to make them happy, so that they can't complain about you. we all are doing sure. and and my friend is also doing so this is the situation well uh by the way it's a very nice term peer pressure yeah okay. uh, recently it is quite uh, in in talk popular. these days yeah true. Uh, it, okay it's a very popular term rather. nowadays yeah definitely uh, so yeah mr anand job since we are towards the end i just wrap it up quickly it was wonderful talking to you uh, you, you have so a good show. yeah you have a good word over language uh, the fluency goes well uh, one more factor that we can work upon could be the vocabulary uh, 
uh, keep using the uh, different words for example imagine if one word is getting repeated like the word copy was repeated twice or thrice in the session so we can use the word imitate so similarly yeah, i would suggest yeah. that uh, i know you know all these words but if we don't use them it will be just sitting at the back of our head so yeah it just happened. keep working on the vocabulary 